why people say not interested and how to deal with it. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, BC, welcome back to another video. I wanted to do this video because we always circle back to some of the beginner stuff and not interested is something that I still get from a lot of people. I've made other videos on my channel about this over the years. I think I've made two over the last three or four years and it still seems like some people get stuck on why people tell them not interested and number two, some quick little responses and things they can say, okay? So let's first start with why people say not interested, okay? Now, in some cases, people just are not interested, okay? And I'm not denying that. What I want people to look at a little bit closer is um, the whole psychology behind this and why we've literally been bombarded by the outside for so long, we've created a response to continue on our path and not be distracted. What I mean by that is this, we're walking along, you're in the mall, uh, somebody at a booth tries to overextend, you know, and force a conversation. And in order for you to continue walking and not have to deal with it, you just say not interested, even if you don't know who they are or what they're about. So an, an automatic mechanism, we can say, has been created in order to combat this external interrupt, we can say, okay? I want you to get that because then it gives you a better understanding and it helps you strategize, number one. And number two, makes more sense what I'm gonna give you later when it comes to responding to this, okay? So that's that. Now, you add in the element that we're gonna sell, we're gonna approach people, right? We're, we're again, uh, intending to, in a sense, force a conversation that other people aren't inviting. So we're already entering a world where somebody's kind of putting up a wall. With that said, this is what you need to keep in mind, okay? You go to the store, you could even go to the store with the intent to buy a shirt, buy a product, buy a piece of equipment, and when the salesperson comes up to you, you still initially say, not interested. Many people do. Now, I don't, right? I'm just like, yeah, I need help. But most people, it's just instinct, right? It's an unconscious right, response, hey, I'm not interested. I'm just looking. All they're really saying is this. All they're really saying is this. I need help, just not right now, okay? That's a reframe you can use in order to better understand this because the good salesperson at the store, right, is gonna hover, meaning they're not gonna be too close, but they're not gonna be too far away. So they're gonna hear they're not interested, they're gonna back up for a second, they're gonna chill, they're gonna let you keep browsing, then they're gonna come back in probably a minute later and say, hey, did, were you looking at something there that, that you liked? Oh, is that color? You know, were you looking at this size, the next size? Were you looking at only pants or were you looking at maybe getting a shirt too, right? And they, they're like in and out, they take a step, you say not interested, they take a step out, they wait, then they go back. Okay, that's how a good salesperson in the store is gonna work. So for you, let's say you're somebody who's in real estate, you're making a call, you're making, um, what's it called? You're going door to door. Look, this is something you need to keep in mind. When someone says not interested to you over the phone or at the door, right? Have you noticed this? Have any of you noticed this? Sometimes they say it and then they keep looking at you or they're on their phone, they say it and they stay on the line, but they pause. So they're like not interested. Or they go, hey, I'm not interested. And they stand there, okay? If they really weren't interested at all, okay? They would say it and hang up, or they would say it and close the door. Now, really pay attention. In a lot of cases, before they close the door, they hang up, there's a pause. And I want you guys, this is a big breakthrough for people. You need to get this. There's a pause, meaning they're waiting for a response. If they truly, 100% were not interested, they would just hang up or close the door. And sometimes they do. You can move on in that case. But in a lot of cases, they don't. So what can we do there, okay? This is where you can start substituting some stuff, okay? Now, if you're at the door, keep it simple, right? If you go business to business or you go door to door in neighborhoods, like I tell realtors to do it all the time, there's a lot of stuff you can do, okay? Now, the first thing um, that you have to remember is in that moment, you really have nothing to lose meaning somebody's already kind of putting up a wall. So what I normally do is I acknowledge it. I'm like, cool, understood. Then I throw something like, you know what? I just have a quick question. Just a quick question, right? Now, this is what people need to get. I do not just have a quick question. I'm gonna keep talking, but I'm gonna throw the question just to get a response and get in the dialogue with them, okay? Now, I'm bringing this up because 
when you do that, one of the questions that I get from people, and I'm sure I'm going to get it here is, well, after you ask them the first question, what if they say, oh, you said you just had a quick question. Look, no one's going to do that. That would be as if like they told me not interested and I keep talking. And then after like two responses, I stop and I say, wait, I thought you said you weren't interested. Like that's, that doesn't happen. Okay. And if it does, it's like the anomaly. It's like one out of 10 or one out of a hundred. And then my response to that is just honest. Well, you know, most people say not interested because you know, like a, somebody who's selling something is coming to their door. Somebody's approaching them who they just don't really want to have a chat with, or they thought they were a religious person or something else. Right. Was that the case with you? And they'll be like, well, yeah, right. I just give them an honest response at that point. If that anomaly happens. Okay. But you need to understand the structure in this. I'm not just asking a quick question. I'm planting a seed. I'm getting my foot in the door. We can say by getting them to respond, you need to get in communication with them. Okay. Look at not interested as like a little barrier. Okay. And by you getting into the dialogue with them, you got rid of it. Now there's so many things you can say, Hey, just a quick question. Or what I used to do is I used to, when I went door to door, I thought, Hey, why would somebody tell me not interested? They think by looking at me, they've already in their mind judged by my look and my approach that I fall into certain categories. And I knew that they either thought that I was a salesman, like solar, right? Selling security, like, um, alarms, uh, maybe a religious person, right? Which is one of the reasons I would dress differently. So I wouldn't get put into that category. Okay. So I came up with different responses as soon as I would knock and they would open the door, I would introduce myself and immediately to handle the not interested or something else. I would say, Hey, I'm not selling anything. I'm not a religious person. And I, this is the key. I wouldn't stop after I said that to get an acknowledgement. I would say it and then I would keep talking and present my next question. This, this is where the art form comes in. Okay. I said that to occupy their conscious mind. Then I keep talking to get them in dialogue. Okay. This is called anticipation. This is called studying your target. This is called understanding the mechanism of not interested and rejection and devising a plan and strategies to get around it. This is just some basic stuff. Okay. Again, it's not the words, it's how you deliver it. And then again, you don't wait for the response. You just keep talking. Hey, I just had a quick question. Boom. The first one that I gave you and you ask it, you don't wait for them to say, okay, you just keep saying it. Now, this is what people need to understand. They still may close the door or hang up on you. That's fine. But the moment they say not interested, okay, you're already at a point where you have to give the next response and the possibility of them hanging up or closing the door or telling you to fuck off is already there anyway. So now you can just start devising strategies and saying things to keep the conversation going. You need to keep the conversation alive. That's it. So just give a response and move on. Okay. Because if you sit there, this is the thing. The mind can only focus on one thing at a time, especially in conversation. So if you sit there and you give a response and you wait for them to respond, that's their opportunity now to just tell you, no, not really not interested or whatever. Now, if they're again, if they're really not interested, they'll just hang up or close the door period. This is what you need to remember. So now we need to keep the dialogue going. We need to keep the communication alive. So, Hey, I just had a quick question. Oh, one thing, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I was just stopping by because blah, blah, blah. I was just giving you a quick call because blah, blah, blah. It's just very innocent. That's what your initial response needs to be. Okay. That is all I do. Or the second strategy that I gave you, which is, Hey, I'm not a, I'm not a religious person or whatever. Now, if you are selling something, that's fine. Maybe this initial call or visit just to get them to disarm. You can say, Hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything right now or today. And maybe you are, or I'm not trying to sell you anything right now. This is a good one. You can say why? Cause you may sell them in 10 minutes. But right now, in this moment, you're not trying to sell them. You're just trying to talk to them. So say, Hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything right now and start talking and watch how that works because that's an honest response right now in this moment, I'm not selling. I'm just talking, you see? So this is how you guys need to start thinking in order to devise quick little snippets of words you can say to continue the communication, because that's the whole goal. And what I want after hearing not interested is I just want to keep them talking. Okay. Now for the people who truly aren't interested, again, they're going to hang up, they're, they're going to close the door and you don't have to worry about it anyway, move on. But the attitude is, well, I really have nothing to lose. So let's keep the dialogue going. Okay. So 
Understand that you're still gonna get that no matter what, but hey, you just need to be creative. You need to study and understand your target. Again, if you're like me, I would say I'm not a religious person or whatever, I would use things based on how people judge you when you're calling or when you're going door to door in order to rule out certain things in their mind so I can keep the dialogue going, okay? So with that said, I'll end it here. I don't wanna make it too long. As always, guys, make sure you check out Supreme Being My Podcast. It's on every major podcast platform. Um, I've also put a link in the description to one of them, which is on Podomatic. But again, whether you're Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, I'm on there, okay? And we upload twice a week minimum. Secondly, Modern Success, my personal coaching and mentorship program for the planet. I highly, highly recommend you get on it. Uh, we've had a ton of people join recently. It's exploding. And as a bonus, I do live events for my people. We're doing our next second in-person live event, August 10th. Again, members only. Highly recommend you get on this thing. I have some dynamite dynamite speakers coming just these events alone at this point are worth it and it's incredible i can't talk enough about it you're going to see a little bit more as far as little snippets and and previews but get on modern success really it's for everybody all right other than that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the uh, notification bell icon because i know it'll send you an email when i upload i know a lot of people aren't getting the emails um, if you did make sure you unclick the bell and then click it again just in case and lastly leave a like as it helps and leave a comment below is something that you deal with on a daily basis not interested? Are you having trouble? Are you getting around it? Maybe you can leave some insight for everybody else. All right, with that said, Team BC, we'll see you.